Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel, it's your boy Kongar, and look, we have a little bit of a special video, a little bit of a, of a good video, you know? So, uh, if you guys didn't know what happened with Anime Odyssey, this video will basically summarize everything and explain everything and all the news uh, for you guys to understand a little bit more of the situation. Now, the first thing I will say is that the game is not cancelled and the game is trying to thrive, it's trying to make a comeback if you will. Uh, the owner string has uh, got a lot of controversy recently and you know it was his birthday when all this was happening so i didn't want to say anything but now you know we, we gotta step up at the plate you know we have to we have to give you guys a little bit of some news if you will okay what we're gonna do today is just basically explain everything that happened and show you guys some proof why he's innocent make sure you go down below and like and subscribe if you guys didn't know i'm being hated because i'm speaking the truth if you guys don't want to be like those corrupt people, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first things first, let's talk about String, right? My boy String. Now, look, I got, I got no beef with him, right? I did expose him a little bit, but it wasn't even that big of a deal to begin with on my last live stream. If you don't remember, uh, you guys can go back and watch it. Uh, I was in a Tesla group chat. You know, I did it. I did expose some of the... Uh, messages between string and of course the developers and uh i don't know what happened i don't know what kind of problems i caused for him but any problems that i caused was entirely his fault if not the developer's fault so you can't really blame me for just exposing the truth but sure whatever i'll take the blame next up is going to be strings uh you know allegations if you will you know uh the naughty stuff you know the stuff that probably he should not have done okay and let's go ahead and look at his testimony if you will now, uh, right here, he says his statement, right? Uh, on the Discord uh, announcement. Uh, this was when it was happening. Hi, so many of you saw some stuff uh, against me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna read all this yapping, you know, uh, but I will summarize it as best I can. So the first one, he basically just talks about how, you know, uh, somebody wanted to buy it, you know, and he would, you know, threaten him. So of course he said no. So, so the allegation of that every developer is leaving string is false. He personally kicks them out. Okay, so that's the first allegation, false and proven false. Now, if you don't wanna believe him, you know, that is up to you, but I believe him. So I'll just go ahead and say that that's out of the waters. Next part is about some fake stuff that I didn't pay devs. You know, obviously there was a huge allegation on stream that he underpays or cuts on the devs percentage that he promised. And, you know, some devs did come out to me personally and the DM me before all this happened, you know, so I will have to say that I, I don't agree with string on this one. I mean, I think he did kind of cut, you know, some devs, you know, next is going to be the allegation that they're, they're stealing assets from anime uh, adventures. And then also on the fourth one, he says that obviously we are using some unit models of, of AA and GUI. So basically, he's just trying to say we are not stealing anything from any other game like Anime Striker, for example, uh, but we are using models and UI from AA. It is what it is, you know? Uh, I will say, though, uh, it's not a big deal to me personally. If it is for you, that's totally understandable, but... For me, I don't really care as long as the game is fun, okay? Uh, basically, they're talking about how the devs nuke the early access server and try to nuke the AO server. So uh, also, you know, yeah, he, a lot of people ha has been on his head. You know, a lot of people has been trash talking him, if you will. And, you know, it's not the greatest, uh, you know, fame, but, you know, it is fame at the end of the day. And, uh, it, you know, String, you made it, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You got one of the best top tier uh games right now uh because of anime adventure so why did i release uh, a bugged anime odyssey good question uh yeah right here he basically just talks about how you know um nobody in testing has gotten a data loss bug i will have also agree i was tester before and you know what i'm saying like it, i didn't have any bug problems uh like that and you know obviously when you have forty thousand people join your game obviously you're gonna find bugs you didn't even know there were and that's totally fine and i think it's pretty understandable uh, you know for, if you've made a game in the past you know how crazy it can be uh, also why vanguard is delaying so much probably because their assets cannot come up with a reasonable date then he says am i a bad owner i will have to say i don't think you're a bad owner i just think you're a bad manager okay so like owner you know owner means a lot of things on a game you know it means providing devs it means providing percentage and it obviously means providing some sort of promotional advantage right and obviously money but you know you're not a bad owner obviously you did that very well especially with the amount of people that are actually joining the game so you did that properly you did that good so you're a good owner you're just a bad manager and that's totally understandable i mean i'm a bad manager you know i'm trying my best but a lot of people need to start off somewhere you know and you happen to blow up really quickly so obviously you know you did good you know for your first time i think you did quite well now uh will i say that you're the best goddamn owner no but you are a solid owner and it, this is all experience and it's going on your on your bank account you know this is going on an experienced bank account 
So at the end of the day, you will become good in due time. But you also have to understand that many people expect too much, you know, and that is what's going to happen every single time. But you did quite well. Okay, so don't even worry about it. And finally, but not least, uh, is the game canceled? No, okay, game is not canceled. They're trying to make a comeback, like I said previously. Uh, String is not going to abandon the game. He did get many offers, you know, to buy the game, to buy the server, but he declined. Why? Because in his vision, he does not see this game as a money opportunity. Although that is a bonus, he sees this game as a way to communicate to people and show them, express a little bit of the anime adventures, nostalgia, you know, a little bit of the anime adventures fun that we previously had. He's trying to bring that back. At the end of the day, he's not all about the money, which is obviously something everybody should be happy for in an owner. And obviously, I am extremely happy that this game is not canceled. Okay, so I can make content on it. And obviously, uh, he's, he now he has beef with Dialga, like I said, the Pokemon very op he's the number one op of every good person okay i mean me i'm a good person i'm a really good person okay but dialga just doesn't like me why because he's part of the anime vanguards he's part of the vanguard seven you know what i'm saying like what i mean by that is you know he's part of the teen titans if you will you know like <laughs> vanguard got a team uh, teen titan of a dev team you know and and he's part of that you know i mean not a dev team but of the group that you know uh, helps the game out so you know he's a friend of them you know if you will he's like the 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 robin to the batman of kobo you know what i'm saying he's basically the tail of the beast okay so i don't know man he is pretty corrupt he's not a great person i personally would stay away from dialga if you are making a game i would not recommend you hire him for your game uh string learn that the hard way so i don't know man you tell me how you guys feel about the situation. I think that is extremely unfair the way they're treating Shring, especially on his birthday, bro. Y'all did all this is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I'm excited. I think this game is easily going to average over 40K. Uh, real people, not alts, like alt defenders. Uh, I hope Shring will forgive me. You know, I hope Shring will give me another chance. You know, he is a little bit on the fence of, of me, you know, because of the exposed uh, live stream. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Shring, you know what I'm saying? You ban me or, or not you, but your mod team ban me. And if you look at it from my perspective, I, I will expose you if you expose me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't scratch my balls, I won't scratch your ball. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, once you did that, I did retaliate. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm back. I am better than ever. I will continue supporting you and continue making content on your game. So, that has to count for much more than what I did previously. So, anyways, no hard feelings. Uh, I still like the game. I, I still enjoy playing the game. Uh, hopefully they fix all the bugs soon uh, in the next couple weeks and we can get a solid release date still gonna release before Vanguard so I don't know why y'all complaining to begin with and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found this informational I hope you found this truthful and I hope that you come back to my channel in the future I'll see you guys on the next one stay safe and peace out